Hello everyone, in today's video I'm going to be sharing with you a ChatGPT powered educational bot. <laughs> Anything about ChatGPT, WhatsApp bots, education and particularly the innovation that's coming out of Africa at the moment, I am here for it. So imagine my delight where on our Cape Tonian shores there was an absolute world first and super exciting partnership recently that happened between Digify Africa and Texas Digital creating one of the world's first bots which is actually powered by ChatGPT. If you're new here my name is Megs and every week I release tech tutorials helping you do digital better. If you have not yet heard of ChatGPT, then you must have been living under a rock because it is really transforming the way in which people are creating content, accessing content, and actually learning. And in South Africa and Africa at large, education remains a huge challenge here. So not everyone necessarily has the opportunities that maybe you or I do in terms of accessing that information. So this is why this bot has just blown my mind because effectively what it's doing is it's allowing people who would otherwise maybe not have heard of ChatGPT or if they had have heard of it, maybe not had the inclination to actually go and seek out more of that information. So instead it's taking all of that power of AI and integrating it into WhatsApp. So what that means is you can actually ask the WhatsApp bot educational questions like what do I do if I'm being cyber bullied and the bot's going to respond with incredibly pragmatic AI powered advice. How cool is that? If you've not yet heard of Digify Africa, they are an incredible African organization transforming the face of education. So they've been known to partner with brands like oh, you know, Meta, in order to bring educational resources to the people who need it most. Digify Africa partnered with a local Cape Tonian agency called Texas Digital, which is very close to my heart because in fact, it was my first job. They are really a next level organization who always pushes the boundaries. So instead of just resting on their laurels and reaping the benefits of being a successful South African digital marketing agency, they went out and built their own build -bot platform platform which is going to allow you to build your own bot in two minutes. Believe me, me, I've even made the video to prove it. So absolutely incredible partnership. And so where they've come together is they've pulled that ChatGPT AI technology into WhatsApp bots, which they were building anyway, and making that accessible to people via these educational bots. And this is bringing it to people who might not even have a laptop. So they've created a bunch of different digibots which basically are tailored to what your learning objective may be. And each of these bots has a name. So Didi is the one that I'm going to be focusing on today. She's the one that's powered by AI technology. There are some other really cool ones that follow a more kind of linear flow in terms of like if yes then this and if no then that. But the AI bot is a little bit different because obviously it's using things like natural language processing to actually try and work out what you are asking it. The beauty of using WhatsApp in the educational space is that it is already home to a lot of multimedia formats. Think voice notes, PDFs, images, videos, you name it. And this has been coupled with known techniques to make education more exciting. So those would be things like leaderboards, gamification, as well as personalized PDFs when you complete a particular module or course. This can all be facilitated 100% through WhatsApp as well. The barrier to entry on WhatsApp is so low because provided you have a working phone device, which doesn't even need to be particularly advanced, and some sort of internet connection, be that on data or Wi-Fi, oftentimes you can actually access Wi-Fi through free hotspots in coffee shops or co-working spaces like Bandwidth Barn, which are set up for this purpose to actually help people get access who otherwise would not have. So once you've got that internet connection, you can start engaging with the bot and asking it questions that's gonna really upskill particularly younger people and keep them engaged for longer periods of time than traditional education would be able to. To put it in perspective, Digify's Digibots are powering millions of conversations. They currently have over 500,000 learners who've engaged with their bots and sent 
over 300 million messages. So immediately you can see how this allows education to scale. The other bot that I am a big fan of from the Digify suite of Digibots is the one that actually facilitates you getting your certification in Blueprint, which is Meta's marketing certification. How incredibly pragmatic is that, that actually your job prospects will improve after having engaged and gotten your certification through this bot. Regardless of someone's digital literacy level, they're going to be able to learn using WhatsApp, which is something that they were probably engaging with their mom on already. So you're not having to take the user out of that environment. They don't have to install an app. They don't have to do anything weird. Even trying to get access sometimes to chat GPT can be challenging. So by having that integration, you're then going to make that a super seamless process. By combining these two technologies, it's really helping to close the digital divide in Africa. And I've included links to both Digify Africa so that you can read more about their incredible initiatives, as well as how to get in touch with the Texas digital team that powers Builderbot. I will also, of course, link to my various Builderbot videos down below because you guys know how much fun I was having building out those journeys. And the fact that it's now going to have the potential to be integrated with ChatGPT just blows my mind. Thank you guys so much for joining for today's video. I cannot wait to see you in the next one. If you have any questions or comments, please do pop them down below. Don't forget to subscribe if you're not yet already. And I cannot wait to see you in our next video so we can keep on doing digital better.